Looking for the biggest mega projects under construction in 2023? You've come to the right place. From an NL stadium to a major airport expansion, these projects are shaping up to be game changers in their respective sectors. With price tags ranging from the hundreds of millions to the tens of billions, these developments are too big to ignore. Here are just a few of the projects that Construction Dive is keeping a close eye on this year. Make sure you don't miss a thing by subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. Number 5. Fontainebleau, Las Vegas Las Vegas $3.7 billion Aventura, Florida-based Fontainebleau Development and Kalk Real Estate Investments just secured a massive $2.2 billion construction loan to complete the project, according to a press release last month. And get this, construction of the 67-story hotel, gaming, meeting and entertainment project is on track to be completed by the fourth quarter of 2023. The site stretches across a hopping 25 acres and 9 million square feet on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip, right next to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Once completed, the project will boast 3,700 hotel rooms, 550,000 square feet of convention and meeting space, as well as gaming, dining, retail, and health and wellness experiences. It's going to be absolutely massive. But did you know that construction on the site initially broke ground all the way back in 2007? Progress was halted during the Great Recession, and the site changed developers a few times. Then, activity stopped again in 2020 due to the COVID-19 crisis. But the project is finally back on track and set to make a huge splash on the Strip. And they're not the only ones with big plans for Las Vegas entertainment. The $2.18 billion MSG Sphere at the Venetian is also set to debut in the second half of 2023, with a capacity of approximately 17,500 seats, expandable to 20,000 with standing room, it'll include the largest spherical structure in the world. It's an exciting time for Vegas. Number 4. Amazon Data Center Campus Northern Virginia $35 billion Whoa, did you hear about Amazon's big plans for Virginia? They're set to invest a whopping $35 billion by 2040 on multiple data center campuses across the state, according to a statement released earlier this month from the office of Governor Glenn Youngkin. But there's a catch. The plan still needs to be approved by Virginia's new Mega Data Center Incentive Program by the Virginia General Assembly. Once approved, though, Amazon would be eligible for the program. We don't know exactly where the new campuses will be yet, but Northern Virginia is known as Data Center Alley by those in the industry. It's the largest data center market in the country, according to a recent CBRE analysis on data center trends. And, according to Youngkin, the state continues to attract data center projects due to its relatively cheap land and power, along with some record tax initiatives. But Amazon isn't the only company with big data center plans in Virginia. NTT, a Japanese IT infrastructure and services company, is building a 24-megawatt data center campus in Ashburn, Virginia. The project is being led by Clark Construction Group, a Maryland-based firm, and is expected to be ready in the first quarter of 2024. And over in Henrico County near Richmond, QTS, a REIT based in Overland Park, Kansas, announced plans last year for a massive 1.5 million square foot expansion to its data center campus in White Oak Technology Park. It'll be right next to their already existing 1.4 million square foot data center. It's clear that Virginia is the place to be for big data center projects. Number 3. BMW Supplier EV Plant Florence, South Carolina $810 million Hey, have you heard the news? Just last month, a huge $810 million EV battery supply plant was announced in Florence County, South Carolina. This is going to be a major boost for EV battery production in the Palmetto State. The plant will be run by Envision AESC, a Japanese EV battery firm, and they'll be supplying battery cells to be used in the next generation of electric vehicle models, produced at the BMW Group's plant Spartanburg. The investment is set to create a hopping 1,170 new jobs, which is great news for the community. According to the release, it will support the company's multi-year partnership with the BMW Group and is part of a wave of EV battery production facilities popping up throughout the U.S. The plant will be located in an 870-acre technology and commerce park in Florence, and it'll be a massive 1.5 million square feet. 
This project builds on AESC's existing United States network that includes a battery manufacturing plant in Tennessee and a plant currently under construction in Kentucky. But BMW isn't the only automaker getting in on the electric vehicle game. Honda revealed its plans for an EV hub in Ohio last December, and Hyundai announced last year that it's breaking ground on a campus where both batteries and a diverse line of EVs will be manufactured. It's an exciting time for the industry. Number 2. JFK Airport Expansion Projects New York City, $14.2 billion Did you hear about the transformation that's taking place at John F. Kennedy International Airport? With a dramatic expected growth in the coming years, the airport is undergoing some major terminal projects. The Terminal 8 Modernization, which cost $400 million and began in 2019, just wrapped up in 2022. But there are still other exciting elements that are underway. In fact, construction is expected to begin on Terminals 1, 4, and 6 in the coming year. The Terminal 1 project, with a price tag of $9.5 billion, broke ground in September 2022 and is being completed in three phases. A. Kikom, Tishman, and Gensler make up the design-build team. They'll be building 23 new gates, along with retail, dining, and even an indoor green space on the old sites of Terminals 1, 2, and 3. How cool is that? The terminal is expected to be open to passengers in 2026 and fully complete by 2030. Meanwhile, Terminal 4, which will cost $1.5 billion, was approved in spring 2022 and is currently under construction. Delta Airlines is managing the construction, with support from firms like STV, Turner Construction, Group PMX, McKissack, and NYCO. Passengers can look forward to new gate areas, seating, and even some space to relax. As for Terminal 6, construction is set to begin in early 2023 with a price tag of $4.2 billion. It'll be built through a P3 between the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey and JFK Millennium Partners, a consortium that includes Vantage Airport Group, American III, real estate operating company RXR, and JetBlue Airways. The new terminal will have 10 gates and will feature some great shopping and dining options. Sounds like a traveler's dream come true, doesn't it? Number 1. Buffalo Bills Stadium. Orchard Park, New York. $1.4 billion. Guess what? Construction for a hopping $1.4 billion stadium for the NFL's Buffalo Bills in Orchard Park. New York is set to begin this spring. And get this. The project is planned to be completed before the 2026 season. Populous, an architecture firm based in Kansas City, Missouri, will serve as the architects for the project. The cool part? The stadium is going to have at least 60,000 seats, a condition set by the state as part of the project agreement. Plus, the stadium will be open air and boast a stacked seating design that will make the crowd noise even more deafening. But don't worry about freezing your toes off during the upstate New York winter. Extensive radiant heating will keep fans comfy. The Bills and the NFL will be contributing $550 million, Erie County $250 million, and New York State a whopping $600 million. Now that's what I call teamwork. And get this, the stadium will be built on Abbott Road, right across from Highmark Stadium, which will continue to serve as the Bills' home field for the time being. Exciting stuff, huh? Thanks for watching our roundup of the biggest mega projects under construction in 2023. We hope you're as excited about these developments as we are, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on their progress throughout the year. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more construction news and updates, and we'll see you in the next video.